Guys, there's been a patent application in the United States for an incredible battery chemistry by BYD, which is, it's like BYD are trying to get in and steal this opportunity from CATL. Is this what's going on? I don't know, but this is a an M3P battery and BYD have applied for a patent for the M3P battery in the United States. We're talking basically a lithium ion phosphate battery here with manganese. What is going on? Now, what is going on on this channel? I don't know, guys. I've just been accused of, um, one, faking my wife's cancer, um, two, faking that I bought a BYD electric car. I mean, you can call BYD Australia if you don't believe me on that one. And three, faking my Tesla Cybertruck order. Now, yeah, I'm totally blown away by these accusations. Um, I'll respond to all of them with a video. So anyway, here's the patent, here's the details. And yeah, getting back to the real world here, what exactly are BYD up to? Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. Great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. BYD, very, very interesting move here because we all know now that CATL have been working on the M3P battery for quite a long time. They obviously patented this battery chemistry in China. We also believe that Tesla will be using M3P battery packs in its EVs that are made at the Gigafactory in Shanghai. There's already some brands, I think Zika is already using an M3P battery. Um, there's a couple of brands that are apparently going to start using the M3P batteries within the next few months, not just Tesla, there's others as well. One of them, I don't remember, it's an it's a, um, unusually named Chinese car company, not one of the big mainstream ones. But anyhow, the M3P battery, it's a lithium ion phosphate battery. It's like a combination of a lithium ion phosphate with a lithium ternary battery. It has manganese in the battery. It's basically a hybrid battery pack that combines, the idea is to combine the best of both chemistries, the best of both worlds. So why on earth is a the mega conglomerate BYD patenting this battery type in the United States? I mean, they don't even make batteries in the US. Now, first of all, this Peyton was actually sent to me by William Polkinghorne. This was sent to me about four days ago. I didn't see the email until now, but here in the patent application, it says this. Abstract, a positive electrode active material of a lithium ion battery includes lithium manganese iron phosphate and a ternary material. A negative electrode active material is graphite. The lithium ion battery meets the following formulas where M1 is the first charge specific capacity of lithium manganese iron phosphate, is the initial efficiency of lithium manganese iron phosphate, talks about the efficiency, and then it says the percent by mass of lithium manganese iron phosphate in the positive electrode active material. Now, this is so strange because this is the first we've even heard about BYD working on this battery. For BYD to come out and actually patent this chemistry in the US, I mean, Will this start a war between BYD and CATL? What, what exactly is going on here? Or does it mean something else entirely? Does this mean that um, BYD are going to license their battery technology to Tesla or to Ford or to someone else? I've got no idea here. It's really, really baffling because, well, obviously, for one, it's pretty unlikely the US government's going to approve BYD building a battery factory in North America, even though they've approved, um, not the US government, but s different states, two different states in the United States have approved Goshon High Tech, who are owned, maybe this is part of the reason why they approved it, who are owned 25% by the Volkswagen Group, but that's a Chinese battery company. They've approved them to build two massive battery factories in the US. And that's quite a surprise when you look at the rhetoric the US government has used around BYD. In fact, Joe Biden, before he became president of the United States, he, he said he wanted to eliminate BYD from the United States. He wanted to get rid of them. He said they were a threat to US democracy, made some really crazy claims here. And I reported on these when I think Trump was president back then. Um, that was when I started the channel. Really strange comments, very, very aggressive against BYD. BYDs obviously still do exist in North America. In the United States, they build trucks, buses, even sort of semi-agricultural machinery. But the main thing that they sell is 
buses and trucks of different sizes in the United States. In fact, they also, I believe, make school buses now, electric school buses as well. More of an assembly plant though. They don't really manufacture them from scratch. It's more of an assembly plant, but they do hire a lot of people in the United States. They've been there now, I think, for nearly 15 years. Been there for quite a long time, but nothing. They've never done anything to do with battery manufacturing in the US, never made cars, never been approved to do either of those things. So what exactly is happening here? This is an M3P battery. The only company we know of in the world that is currently making those batteries is CATL. So what are they up to? I'm, I'm fascinated by this story. This is a very interesting reveal. Now, one, it reveals that BYD clearly have the technology and the capacity to make these types of batteries. Clearly it's in their product portfolio plan. They plan on, they've basically gone and said, we like what CATL is doing. We'll do something similar. And they're clearly planning on making a similar battery, but it's a very proprietary, unique battery chemistry. It's not like LFP. I mean, LFP is a, an industry-wide, Chinese industry-wide battery type. M3P, there's only one company we've ever heard of actually coming up with this product and making it. And it's CATL. No one's ever, there's never been any rumors of any kind that I'm aware of that BYD has had anything to do with the M3P battery. So what's going on? If you know, let me know in the comments. Either way, this is really, really interesting. And about those other things I mentioned earlier in the video, I guess it's a bit of a downer to mention those things. And when I um, saw those um, accusations, I got, to, I got to admit, I felt sick to my stomach. Um, I felt angry. Um, I think when you're in this situation and the mother of your children um, has very little chance to live, um, it's hard to hear people making these kinds of comments. So anyway, I'll respond to this stuff and um, maybe even do a live video. And if you want to, you can speak to her yourselves. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.